This soothing syrup has become the only medicine available in Lambeth. It bears the Templar Grandmaster's name. About time for a visit to the doctor. I don't see that cure arriving any time soon. And what exactly will you be doing, might I ask? You know very well. Tracking down the Peace of Eden. Enjoy your studies. I'll be out killing Templars. I knew you'd show. My warmest welcome. It's our business to keep London in balance, monitoring shipments by road, sea, and rail. Our biggest problem, the blighters. If you could rid us of them, I'd be ever so grateful. It would make London safer. You find anything that sparkles, it's yours. I do love a bit of sparkle. scaring away my customers. Why don't you bugger off or I'll give you something to remember me by. Oh, you can't talk to me like that, you little guttling. What's all this then? Oh, sod off. <gasps> if you'll excuse me, madam. Tell me where the syrup originates. All, all I know is they make a run each day between the gasometers and the asylum. Right, Mr. Fry, Let's sister. stir up some trouble. <laughs> That's the way. syrup is made, shall we? The man in charge of the syrup distribution runs a frightful cup of the family. Let's go. 
Fast friends now, also. Devil's going on over there. I recommend you stop struggling. Syrup, mate. Speak now or forever hold your. That lad's up to no good. The distillery. It's the large building beside the brewery. Now, to stop soothing syrup production once and for all.
keep a sharp eye out, lads. Someone's targeting our network. The distillery might be next. This will complicate things. You should not go about frightening respectable gentlemen, young man. I didn't realize snooping around was considered gentlemanly. Snooping? Sir, I assure you. Keep vigilant. Quick, inside. That was too close a call. You, young man, gave me quite a fright. I thought you were one of them. But I realize now why you're here. Same reason I am, I imagine. I imagine? I believe I found something, young man. Rather impressive contraption, wouldn't you say? I've seen bigger. Stramonium, or Devil's Snare, as it is commonly called, that goes into the syrup and opium, no less. Revolting. Absolutely sickening. A favorable way to proceed, wouldn't you agree? Find a way out of here, quickly! What about the other bounds? Take a wild guess. Very well, young man. <laughs> What's he doing Some here? Like oh. 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 Oh.
Well done, dear boy. Well done. Charles Darwin, delighted to make your acquaintance. Jacob Fry, the pleasure's all mine. <laughs> While you were busy wreaking havoc, I found this. It indicates that a sample of every batch has been sent to Lambeth Asylum. Ooh, I wonder if it's visiting hours. Don't be so hasty, Mr. Fry. Many people work at Lambeth. You wouldn't want to attract unwanted attention. Mm. And what's the fun in that? Not every problem can be solved by blowing things sky high. Sometimes a little discretion is in order. It's getting late. I will meet you at the asylum to continue our investigation. I have told you before, sir, I had nothing to do with that anonymous article. Nothing, I say. That is a lie, sir. And you know it. Bah, I don't have time for this nonsense. Nonsense? It is my name and reputation you have willfully besmirched, sir. My very name. Bah! <laughs> drive, damn you, drive. Yeah. <sighs> that is Richard Owen. A vile, despicable wretch of a man. Really? I could have sworn you were close friends. Mr. Owen works at the asylum. He will know who made the syrup. Get him! Get him! Faster, you netwit! Faster! Was that so hard? Yes! Another exciting night home for Evie Fry. Just on my way out, actually. I found the piece of Eden. What's this one going to do, hmm? Heal the sick, deflect bullets, control the populace? They're dangerous objects, Jacob, especially in Templar hands. Oh, you sound exactly like father. If only. 
Lucy Thorne is expecting a shipment tonight. She's Starrick's expert in the occult. I'm nearly certain she is receiving the piece of Eden Sir David Brewster mentioned. Sounds like fun. Mind if I join you? Promise you will stick to the mission. I swear. The contents of that box are worth more than your life and those of your entire family. Do you understand? Yes, Miss Thorne. Uh, careful there, and double the guard on that cart. Now, Miss Thorne, there's the matter of some uh, papers for Mr. Starrick. If you'll just come this way. Very well, but make it quick. Whatever it is she's after, it's in that chest. There are gunmen on the rooftops. Can you dispose of them before I reach the cart? I was hoping for a challenge. Come <laughs> on. 
<laughs> well, that was fun. Thanks for the invitation. Let's do it again. Damn it. the train for you. Like a paint, new rugs from Camden Loch, and my wee sister, the seamstress, did a discount on the curtains. Hmm. Seems a letter has come for Jacob. The papers and all. Simply delight. You may have not found a piece of Eden, but this material is invaluable. Look. It says the London assassins had found a shroud. The shroud of Eden is supposed to heal even the gravest injury. If the assassins had found something like this, surely Father would have known. There must be something we're missing. Something only we can see. These look like directions. Are you coming? Fieldwork is not really my speciality. We found a clue to a precursor object. Don't you want to follow it? Put that way, one can hardly refuse. Shroud of Eden. It's said to heal the sick. Popular myth is that it brings people back from the dead, but the assassin records say that's not true. I've never heard of one being in London, though. Do you really think Edward Kenway could have found one? He traveled extensively, so it's possible. But if he did, he kept it a closely guarded secret. But if it's true, what a find it would be. Indeed. I'm eager to find out myself. It's surprising that you haven't already searched the Kenway house. Edward's son, Haven, joined the Templars. When he died, the house passed on to Haven's sister. I think this is it. I think you're right. Look. I'll be in the study. I don't want to be interrupted unless you have news of the lost notebook. That makes getting in a challenge. You still intend to enter? If this is a Templar stronghold, it won't get any easier. Don't worry. We'll stay well away from Miss Lucy. Shall we? <clears throat> Can you check over there? Of course.
That looks interesting. Miss Thorne is quite the collector. I wish father could have seen this. I can't believe they've kept all of this. Something from Edward Kenway's time. Another assassin artifact. This should belong to the assassins. What are we looking for? I'm not quite sure. What 
the Templars not seeing? Something only we can. Subtle, is it? Clearly, Kenway had a strong sense of spectacle. History of the London Assassins. Vault holes, vaults, a hidden key. This is it. You say you heard music. There was no opening there before. It's closing! Yes, I can see that. Help me block it. We need to find another way out. An entire vault, filled with assassin history, left behind once again. We'll just have to reclaim this one later, or find a better cachet. Yes, Miss Thorne. That could be the trigger. We? Oui. Jacob, uh, Miss uh, Fry, how good to see you. Oh, have you seen Starlick's latest lies? Lies in a newspaper? What transpired from the new line you're establishing? Oh, the cables we ordered never arrived. And then we intercepted this. A message mentioning cargo seized at College Wharf. Then let's unseize it. Oh, uh, wait. Another intercepted wire contained the recipe for a powerful hallucinogenic serum. I've adapted this dart mechanism to work with your bracers. Alec, you're a genius. Well, that patently is untrue. Although I've also discovered that the serum adopts a form of a gas when subjected to heat. Just when I think you can't surpass yourself.
Floyd's trespassing! Stop that trespass! <laughs> know what kind. Mr. Bell. Every worthwhile endeavor is fraught with dangers, my dear friends. None more so than yours. But you have triumphed once again. How do you know? We have entered the age of communication, remember? We've already received word from Greenwich that the shipment has arrived safely, thanks to you. Have you discovered what else is in that shipment? Indeed. Um, I'm afraid that Starrick's poison has found its way onto the open market. If he believes that will stop us, he is mistaken. I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes. We had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson. I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me.
Where would I find the doctor? As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Linson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off.
gotta find myself another job. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but you aren't allowed in here. Murder! Murder! Over here! Here it is, Doctor. We will continue our experiment shortly. In a moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. 
And since both specimens had a propensity towards violent behavior, we should see similar protrusions in specific parts of their brains. Corpses do not have boots. It ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Sterrick has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. I are a child. A child who believes it can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? Let's go. Elliot's an expired, and soothing syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank but he's simply that. content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist. Gentlemen. This tea was brought to me from India. By a ship. Then up from the harbor to a factory where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door. Unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. All by men and women who work for me. Who are indebted to me. Crawford Starrick. For their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories and so too shall their children. And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry. This insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin? You disrespect the very city that works day and night so that we may drink this. This miracle, this tea. I'm nearing the end of my research. 
Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. And what of the sister I've heard of? Miss Fry? Miss Fry shall be gutted. Soon enough. Delicious.